What is going on everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this effect and this was inspired by Justin Escalona's new video where he talks about how he's going to be doing uh, Daily Docs 2.0 and just basically make it more uh, production value but I was interested by this little video effect he did at the beginning and I made a little simplified version of it myself. Okay guys, so I already did all the hard work for you and I'm just going to put my Adobe Premiere project file in the description so you guys can go download that, open it in your own editor and then you can just change the name and then save that as your own video but there's a lot of steps so make sure you watch the video uh, in the end just to see how to get it right. Uh, I also put a, uh, I'm also going to export it into a Final Cut Pro project file. So if you guys have Final Cut Pro, you can try that out. I'm not sure if it'll actually work because I haven't tested it out. So if you do do it and it works, uh, let me know in the comments. But anyways, let's hop right into the editor and I can show you guys how to do this hands on. So whenever you guys open up the project, this is the first thing that you're going to see. Um, all these little video tabs, there's 13 in total just because I wanted to keep them all separate. Just so you, you can personalize them however you want. And what I'm really doing is just going through all these and just adding own personal video effects. So if you want to tweak any of this, click on whatever one you want to change and then go to effect controls and change the uh, crop and change the motion controls. But anyways, once you get in here, scroll all the way to the top where you see name, filmmaker, change this to whatever you want if you want to change it all you have to do is double click this take your text tool select it like this and then just type over it what your name is you can do the same for the filmmaker your instagram you can make that your twitter if you want uh, so once you guys have edited this however you want go over here click on file click on export and click on media once you do that, just export it just like any other video, click your output name, name whatever you want, and save it into whatever folder you want. I'm just going to cancel because I've already done this. Export it. Okay, so once you have that uh, already exported, go ahead and open up a new project that you want to put this into. Okay, so once that's completely exported and finished, what you're going to want to do is open up a new project, the one that you're working on, and put your footage in that you want to um, have the animation on. Here's the footage that I'm using right here. Go and find the place where you saved it. Drag that onto a video track. And what you're going to see is it's just going to be this black screen because you haven't added the video effect yet. What you want to do to fix that is click on this. Go over to go over to opacity. Make sure you're in the effect controls panel. Go over to blend mode. And then select screen. And screen is basically just going to take the black out. And then once you do that, you can move it around, place it wherever you want. Just double click it and drag it over. There you go. And you can, and since that's saved in a folder, you can literally put that in any video, any any video you want. Um, a lot of people will probably accuse me of copying his style or whatever uh, to be and to be original. Uh, I'm not even sure if I'm going to use this in my vlogs yet. And to be honest, uh, if you look at anyone else's videos, all the Justin Escalona cinematic sequences, Sam Coulter effects are pretty much... Well, in my vlogs, I think I have sort of unique style with like the little animations I put. So if you guys want to go check that out, I'll link that on the screen right now. But anyways, guys, the links will be in the description for the downloads. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like on the video. Comment if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more like this. And and I'll see you guys later.